Hello again, it's Priscilla Vettel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. It's the front room. I have a whole lot of paint in front of me and I want to use it. And I was going to use it in a dustpan, but I have a smaller dustpan and I can't find it. So what I'm going to do is substitute my dustpan for one of these containers I usually scoop paint out of. And I am going to use land colors or colors that I want to see in the land, I should say. Put those over here. And I'm going to start with sky colors. I might need another pan, but I have another pan. I can use this pan. So here are my sky colors. I also have some leftover colors from a couple days ago here and yesterday here. So those, if I remember, which is always key, <laughs> I will put in. Sands that long hair. So I guess I could have left those up there, but I'm going to use whatever I have the most of, and I don't mind how obnoxious this is. It just like it if they would come out. Okay, I've got an alternative to that one. It's not very different, just a little. And I really want this to be bright and obnoxious and fun. And those two colors are Hobby Lobby Modern Masters, Masters Touch, Masters Touch colors. This, that was a, a purple with, um, it's probably a dioxazine purple from, also from Master's Touch. And it's had iridescent pearl fine put into it. That is a berry from Decor Americana. This is a golden quinacridone magenta. I kind of want to put some obnoxious, more obnoxious colors in my sky, so I'm going to do that. That is a folk art neon pink, also with a plug in it. Darn. <coughs> now, I am going to have to prep my canvas, which I did put down here. And since it's my sky, I think what I want to do is take... Oh, I forgot my blues. All right, what I want to do is blow any paint chips off. That is... A metallic white that could be Sargent's or it could be Anita's. This is an Indian blue from Liquitex. This is a Prussian blue from Grumbacher. More often than not, it could also be Academy. And I'm going to use an Oxo omelet turning spatula just to add color to the canvas that will help paint slide. And it ought to be kind of heavy because I need the dustpan of color that I pour to to want to flow across the canvas. Love, love, love my OXO omelet turning spatula. I recommend them highly. They are available on my Amazon link below the link tree. Best paint spreading tool around. You can make an entire painting with just a spatula if you're brave or brazen or foolish like me. <laughs> Any one of those. So I'd really love to be able to do one of these at a time, but I'm afraid that I can't, to tell you the truth, and that I need to do both at the same time, which means I better figure out something right quick about the bottom. You know what? To heck with that. That's going in the bucket. What do I want in here that I haven't got? Let's throw a little bit of yellow right in the middle. Is there anything else I need? I really like that blue. Really like that blue. So let's do it. I hope there's nothing in there. And I'm going to rest that right there and use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula to excavate the rest of that color. And I got some green, darn. Well, I can tell you which side's going to get tipped off first. I'm going to let all those colors relax. I might be able to use them in something else, like as reflections for the for the land portion. So I want an edge catcher on my tile. So when I pour paint, however I pour paint, I wonder if this is gonna work. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna do that. So if I can spread these colors far enough, I'm gonna turn that right around. 
then I can also, I need another one of those. If I can spread these colors far enough, what was I going to say? <laughs> I have no idea. If I can spread them far enough, then I can also tilt it back under the canvas. We'll see what happens there. I might want more. I was going to say, I can probably let them go down, but I'm not sure that that's going to happen. Now, when I use the neon pink, it always kind of freaks me out, but the to tell you the truth, it j it's just like the neon purple from Folk Art. They both dry darker. I saw something in there. That's not it. That is, though. Whatever that is, it needs to go away. All right, so I'm just going to keep tipping my dustpan pour. And then I'm going to let it all relax up or and or down. And I'm thinking both. <laughs> so that's a heck of a cloud. I'm going to have to search. I'm going to have to hit it quick with a torch because I don't know if I'm seeing objects like that one <laughs> or if I'm seeing bubbles. In any case, getting some nice coverage. And as I do that, the light reflects off of all the things that I want to pull out with my tweezers, which are also available on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is a great place to go shopping. It costs you nothing extra, but it helps me. Now, I like this paint over here, and what I will often do with paint that I like is use my OXO omelet turning spatula. And use that paint as an added element because it has a different design feature. And I don't mind about the bottom right now. I would like all that paint off there. And I do recall that I have more in my little container. So I'm going to have to clean all my spatulas because I just used them all up. So let me grab yet another one. And just scoop out whatever I want from this container because it's going to get wasted. I mean, adding it, yeah, <laughs> never mind. Adding it into the bottom half is just not the full, the full usefulness of it. Yeah, that's not very articulate. Never mind. I see that thing up there. Big one. All right. So, I have more paint here. And the trouble with orange and th on things and not being careful is that you wind up with yucky colors. <laughs> I can't say it any more plainly than that. Yucky colors. Now you can see the heaviest paint that I just added is the paint that flows the fastest and the furthest and, and first. So everything that's been flowed already isn't moving very far and that's okay with me because I like that idea. Now, if I really want to move it, and I kind of do, I can blow on it. Also, when I blow on it, and I had lots of colors to begin with, then I can see other colors show up and patterns pop. And it won't usually affect the orange like I was worried about. I know my head's in the way, but I'm only blowing. That does not need to be there, but it can go on my Lolafy silicone mat where it eventually will become a skin. Now, I kind of want to use my Indian blue. And my purple. Watch, I'll run out of time. This will have to be two parts. And my Prussian blue again. right across there. Because my theory is, and it's worked out this way most of the time, is paint will flow to paint. So if I put that on there, it will pull everything above it. Oh, that's my airbrush. It keeps doing that. I'm going to have to unplug it really soon. It's jumped me like I don't know how many times now. You can see that's pulling that entire sky right down. I 
I am going to probably, I've got enough of this. I don't usually use the, uh, the folk art color shifting paint as a background, but I think I want to this time, just because I never have. And I do have a clean spatula, yay. Now if I knock the paint off of my spatula on the edge of the canvas, with the, yes, with the, with the spatula, I'm getting redundant. Um, I can usually cover something. Now it's a black canvas, so that's not, it's not an automatic giving. I'm going to see what that looks like in there. Because I've got a nice heavy layer of paint, and why shouldn't I? Always wanted to do stuff like that. Just give myself permission. Let's grab a dustpan full of paint. I'm not sure I'm as in love with how bright that looks without some of this orange in there. So let's see what happens. I like that much better, actually. Much, much better. As long as we're doing it. probably turn that back your way. So in theory, you should be able to tip that and it will begin to meld. And it is always nice to be able to have an edge catcher on my surface. So I'm going to grab another one. And I should move my paint out of the way so I can turn this around for you guys in case I run out of time. But I still have about seven minutes, more or less. That's a crazy sky. I've got some really pretty cells over here. I am going to let, let them continue to flow. I'm not so sure I'm as in love with that, but that'll be a different color tomorrow. It'll look quite different. Yeah, I did. I just went right across. And added my breath. I'm missing a color these days that I really want to have back, which was an iridescent pink that was made by Art Mines. I'm having too much fun with my sky. I'm sorry, I'm obsessed. Always been obsessed with skies anyway. Trying not to dip parts of me in. That pink is really, really bugging me. I'm sure the orange isn't going to bug me any less, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because it will distract me from that large area of pink. which I could waggle. There's a really good chance by agitating the paint that I might be able to, hello, might be able to get it to sell. What did I just see? I saw this down here. Still trying to get rid of that pink. I'm either trying to get rid of pink or orange all the time. Just going to blow that right in there. All right, so I'll show that to you and I'll take my pan that I just used and I'll put some colors in it, as long as it's not too slippery, because there's no point in getting the other pan schmutzy if I don't have to. Hey, my gold is actually available. That's excellent and unexpected. I'm going to throw some black in there, because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link underneath the link, underneath the link tree that's underneath the video. looking for anything specific, but I'm looking for pretty colors and I'm getting them. I 
I didn't use any copper or any of this mysterious. I think I'm going to have to throw some copper in there. You know what I was missing yesterday was the dark emerald green too. All right, cross your fingers. Let's do it. Maybe we can get it done. All right, I love everything in my pan. I've got an edge catcher in position, more or less. I'm gonna move it right down so when my paint flows, right across, I can puddle it and save it and throw it back again in a wave and before it goes too far, assuming I don't have literally a green thumb. No, it was a blue one, cool. I'm going to use what I've got and rest all of my edge catcher right across. Since I've got those cool little cells, I might do something with them. Once I get a puddle, I can roll it right down, especially if I squeeze my edge catcher. It would be probably better if I had one also underneath on the tile as well to catch whatever's falling. Oh, it looks like i got a waterfall again. I like it when that happens. And I can always scrape off whatever's on my edge catcher and send it right back into the artwork. Ouch. Okay, I got two minutes to tell you guys I sell my artwork and my email address is below the video and that's kind of cool. I could put some white in there and I'd probably be happy. I could get that thing out. Could I get that thing out? Sometimes they're in the canvas. <laughs> Sometimes you can't. All right, that's a wild sky. And a pretty crazy landscape also. So let's just go back. Because I think this lump of paint right here. I think I can blend that by just rolling it right around. I like that better. Cool. That's what I had in mind. You never would have known. Oh, I got cute little mountains over here. Like, or trees or something. I love that purple in the bottom, so... This could wind up with some uh, some mountains. I'm just going to point this toward you, and you'll be gone in a second. And I should tell you guys, um, I'm really happy there's over 90,000 of you subscribed. I'm glad you're here. Check out my 1,500 videos. I'm going to use my OXO omelet turning spatula again. And I'm going to try and get my paint bottles out of the way and have a look. Yeah, that always works without dripping anything. I'm going to use the paint on my spatula right off the edge catcher to add some more elements, more or less. In this case, kind of less. <laughs> I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. If you guys are looking for my paint pouring recipe, please look under the video, under the description. You should find it there. If you are looking for Teespring clothing, it's under the video too. It's all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. That is pretty wild. I am not sure that I am as super stoked as I wanted to be about this. So what am I going to do? I don't know. I'm going to put some of this blue in here. Because I can. And I got one minute left and I will see you guys anon. Just going to give myself some blue sky right at the bottom, right in the middle. <laughs> really tempted to add some white. All right, I'm going to show that to you right now because I can. I <laughs> love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and, uh, and check my link tree for inter Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links and Facebook groups galore. Don't forget to check out the drawing on the end screen video, the exhibition video for every month's prizes. I love you guys. Take care. Bye for now. I'll see you in on. Priscilla out. Oh, you're still here. Cool. I can zoom in there. <laughs>